Good morning, ladies. I'm going to try to zoom in a little bit for you. Hope you can see. I'm not going to want you to see her face because you can see her feet, but there's nothing really to see. So, hello. Good morning. It's Saturday. I hope you guys have had a good start to your weekend. Uh, I'm popping on here to give you some news and to show you this little one. And I have kind of like a tag I'm going to do. It's from Kitty's, Kitty's Dolls and Coffee. I really enjoy her channel. Um, so I'm going to get into that subject, but first I'm going to... Um, describe my little treasure by Laura Lee Eagles. I named her Katie for my um, ones who, on my channel who maybe can't see the babies due to limitations. So this little baby is a newborn. She's a sold out limited edition. Laura Lee Eagles little treasure she has very dark, thick brown hair, and she has on a little me sleeper, all floral all over, and it's got beautiful pastel colors and trim. It's all flowers and leaves, and it's in a rose color, a rose peachy color, a little bit of aqua blue flowers and then the leaves are kind of more like a grayish green and then around the neckline and down the side of the sleeper is white eyelet trim and um, white eyelet trim around the sleeves so little treasure my little treasure she's newborn uh, this is a little big on her. It's newborn from either Vitamin Baby or Little Me. I love both of their clothes. And uh, they're a little more pricey, but not like extremely pricey. I find they're really good value for what you get. So she has dark hair, very nice Russian mohair on the thick side. And her complexion is the a newborn complexion with more red and pink tones. She has a little vein that comes down her forehead, which I love. That's why, I don't know, I was just drawn to her. She has a tummy plate too, but I haven't used it since I got her. I'll have to do that one of these videos. But yeah, and she has like a pouty mouth, just real pouty mouth. I was drawn to her, her face. I didn't know why I was drawn to her face so much. I think sometimes we're drawn to babies that look like our own children that we've had, but we don't always recognize it right away. It's like she, I loved her, but it was when I got her rooted that I looked at her and thought, oh my goodness, she looks just like my daughter's baby picture at that age. I have a picture where I'm holding my daughter and it's I don't know if I can find that and show you guys or not, but she has that same pouty face and dark hair. So, and she's holding her little lammy lovey. So, she'll probably take a nap all afternoon. So, and look, you guys, I'm using my boppy. So, I don't think I'm going to get rid of my boppy. I think I'm going to keep them both because it comes in handy to have that space. And you know why I need that space, guys? There's a baby on the way. I purchased a baby this morning. She's coming out of Texas, so hopefully it won't take me too long to get her because I'm in Arizona, so hopefully she can't get lost. Who knows? I think even if you did lose a baby and you had all the insurance on it, I'm not sure the post office would pay you. I mean, I never got any money back from what insurance I did have on the last doll. So I'll probably keep painting to fund my own purchases, but I won't be doing customs. I'll probably just paint and sell. It's just too nerve wracking to me. And last night I was painting eyebrows on the giveaway baby. 
I got one eyebrow perfect and then I couldn't get the other eyebrow like it and I just was so frustrated that I wanted to quit painting altogether. So I left it, got up this morning, did the eyebrows again. The one eyebrow was so perfect, but I felt like after I looked at her, the color wasn't right. The eyebrow color was too dark or something. So I hope I have her right now. She's in the oven baking, so she better be right. I may just uh, give her away bald. Painting hair and the eyebrows can make or break a doll. And even though I would like to practice on her head, hair painting will be the first time that I ever try the 3D course. And it takes a very long time. To do that I thought it would be faster but it's not it takes a long time some of the women said like 40 hours to paint 3d hair looks gorgeous when it's done though it looks almost like rooted hair so um yeah that's that anyway I had a boo-boo horrible thing happen last night this is a baby I was painting She's just going to be a cuddle baby, but look what happened to her face. It all caved in. I have no idea why, but I will tell you, this is a china head. I bought this to practice on for hair, but it could be that's why it did this. I will not purchase from them anymore. I, I fed up with what they're doing but I did get this one so I could practice on it and give it away no one gonna try to sell it I don't even know what what kit it is you guys can see what kit it is maybe I will well I might give her away too I don't know she she is a off-brand kit so I don't know but thankfully I saw somebody had this happen to them with a kit that came to them in the mail from McPherson so it does happen so maybe she fell over on her side and then she cooled that way so what you do when that happens is uh, you warm up the sculpt and then stuff it with polyfill until the shape comes back out so I will have to do that on her so I didn't do a lot of detail on her, but you know, she's, she's looking cute. <clears throat> so back to, um, what this video is about, uh, dollies, was it kitties, dolls and coffee? Go check out her channel. If I remember, I'll try to put the link below. Uh, she was doing a video on, have we, come out of the closet, so to speak, with our dolls. How does our family and our friends think about it? How do we deal with it? She covered the subject very, very well. And she covered all different kinds of scenarios. So you guys would probably want to go watch that. She seemed to have her thoughts collected much better than I usually do. But I started collecting six years ago. I just say a picture came across my Facebook, which was um, Jasmine, and I got her six years ago. So yeah, for six years I've been collecting babies, but I really haven't bought a baby for like a year and a half. So, oh, what's funny, you guys, is uh, I gotta tell you this before I forget. I paid with her through PayPal. And I want to say, the girl was fantastic. She um, she gave me all the photos I wanted. She gave me everything I asked for. And she took went outside and took pictures of the baby. She told me who the artist was. She's only had her for like three weeks. And she prefers silicones. So I'm looking forward to getting her. She's going to look really nice with Katie. And uh, she's a little bigger, and she has dark hair. Uh, she isn't like 
a super top of the line expensive doll, like thousand dollars and over. She was what I consider more a middle budget baby. But she sent she's shipping her for free. So you got to take that into account and then I know what it costs to put good hair on the baby and what it costs for rooting services. So you have to put all that into play there and uh, see what you can afford. So uh, getting back to the doll hobby. Um, oh, I know what I was going to tell you. I forgot you guys. I paid with her for with PayPal and I thought, well, I paid with my own money, but you know, I thought, Jim's going to find out eventually. He's going to find out because she's going to show up at the door. But something happened with our PayPal where they notify him every time I purchase something now. So I guess I'm not keeping anything a secret. So anyway, he came out of his office and said to me, So I see we have another baby coming. And I laughed. I'm like, who told you? So he... He was fine. He didn't say anything. I mean, he's looking around my nursery like at all the babies I have, but he didn't say a word. I told him, I said, you know what? I said, I feel guilty sometimes buying the dolls, but I said, I don't do anything else. I don't go on trips. My husband's too busy all the time. I don't go on vacations that often. <clears throat> Haven't had a vacation in at least two years. And um, I don't go buy clothes. I'm a minimalist when it comes to clothes. And I don't... I don't really spend money on anything else except these dolls and baby clothes. So, but, um, yeah, that was funny. You know, we can't really hide too much from our husbands. I suppose he saw what I paid for her, too. But we've been talking about the price of dolls lately, and I've been showing him prices and how much they've gone up. So he didn't say a word about that. But as far as my, uh, acquaint my family... And my friends with my reborn dolls, when I first got into it, I had a very close friend that I've known since I had my daughter. Um, they used My daughter looks like Katie, and they used to hold Katie, and my friend, her husband used to bounce Katie, or bounce my daughter on her knee, his knee, and stuff like that, and uh, so they were really accepting of it. And her husband said to me, which really surprised me, he said, Linda, I'm not surprised that you got into this. He said, you have always liked dolls. He's known me since I was 20. And I was like, he says, you've always had dolls. And I thought, what an interesting observation of him being a man. To him, he just always saw me with dolls in my house and stuff. So he, uh, he didn't think anything of it. In fact, his wife, they lived here where I am for a while, and we used to take the babies and go to the nursing home and go shopping and go out to lunch, and we we had a lot of fun. I really miss her because she was like my one friend I had that I felt like I could take my babies, and she enjoyed it as much as I did. So as far as my family goes, my, I don't Nobody's really given me their opinion except for my son. My son thinks it's horrible. He he wants nothing to do with them. He won't even look at them for my art, which hurts me a little because he's a very good artist and I appreciate his art. But I didn't always appreciate his art, so um, I can't really expect any any much out of him. So, but my friends are very accepting. Um, I used to take my babies out a lot too. I had a stroller and all that and I took them out or I used my purse, my baby purse from Susan Gibbs on Facebook. I got a beautiful purse. I should show it to you guys sometimes. It's been a long time since I showed it. So I got to where I used that purse too. It would hold my, uh, it wouldn't hold Tabitha, but it would hold this baby and my my dear zero to three month babies. And I got I got rid of the stroller and car seat and I just started like putting her in the purse bag when I took her places. It was just easier for me. I'm getting older and even though it was fun to take the stroller and everything after a while, it just gets to be too much. You just don't have the energy to do all that. 
so I got rid of it. So I just, if I'm traveling somewhere and I have her with me, with my husband, and I've got her, I'll just keep her on my lap. I won't, I won't bring her up near the window where anybody can see her. But all my friends are really good about it. I guess if they don't like it, they don't tell me. I take her to my place of worship when I go on Sundays, and everybody's really accepting. I mean, how I put it was, <clears throat> I have a service dog, a little chihuahua, for therapy, and I, I explain it to him like that. It's like a therapy doll. I said, I have a therapy dog, but I'm not gonna bring him to a congregational setting where he might bark or do something strange. So I said, this is, this is my replacement. She helps me with my anxiety and they help me a little bit with my depression too. So that's all I can't really say. Um, Unless my husband's fine about it, he jokes about it. Like today, he's like, oh, I guess I get another deduction. He, it's what he always says. The only thing wrong with these babies is I don't get a deduction on our taxes. <laughs> so uh, that's how he is. He's really very, very good. He's not embarrassed when I take him out. Uh, I think he's he's really proud of them and, and especially the ones I paint. I have one doll of mine that I painted. He's just really good about it. So I haven't run into any negativity. I mean, when I went to the stores with them, I did it mostly to educate people and rarely did I ever have anybody react negatively at them. There's more people that will find it very interesting than people that will condemn you over it. But I do realize that you have to be ready for that before you let your friends know and you go out. You have to be ready for it. Because I have had my moments in the last year where I kind of felt like, oh, you're just being ridiculous. You know, why do you need to have a baby with you for your anxiety? And stuff like that but you know what everybody's got something and they have to deal with it some way my way is the dolls i don't have to take anxiety medication anymore so to me that was worth it to get off that very addictive anxiety medication so yeah i've i've had a really positive experience with them I don't want, to want this to be too long, so if you want to hear a more in-depth discussion, go over and see um, our fellow Dolly Collector, Kitties, Dolls, and Coffee. She has a very nice channel. Love listening to her. So I'm going to say goodbye now, you guys. I hope you enjoy this video. Uh, thank you for my subscribers, if you like this content, please hit the bell, the top bell, to get all notifications and subscribe. And we will be having a giveaway, baby, so stick around. Um, I hopefully will have her do done in a few days. Depends on if I decide to give her away bald or paint her hair. Because sometimes people would prefer a baby bald over painted hair, and I understand that. I feel like the hair and the eyebrows can make or break the doll. And I hope my eyebrows are going to be okay on the doll I'm giving away. Eyebrows have never been easy for me. And I've always used a Prisma pencil very lightly. But for some reason, the Prisma pencil wasn't sticking to the vinyl at all. Um, I even tried heating it up a little bit with a lighter, but it didn't work. So these are the first eyebrows that I did on this new doll that are painted by me and I think I did a pretty good job but I kind of paint eyebrows my own way I, I haven't figured out how to paint eyebrows the way the really high-end professional artists do I need a lot more practice on that but I do pretty good but am I gonna be a high-end artist I don't think so I don't think I pursue it and paint enough to become become that so my dolls are always like around $400. And that's usually with painted hair or bald. So 
we're comparing it to that, I got a good deal on the baby I'm getting. So stay tuned. She's coming from Texas. Um, she has a lot of the same coloring it looks like as Katie and dark hair. I won't tell you the kit yet. It is a popular kit, but I won't tell you yet. We'll leave that a surprise. So I would say probably by Wednesday or Thursday of next week, uh, we'll have a box opening, which will be exciting because I have not had one in probably a year and a half. And you guys know I've been looking for quite a few weeks now. So if you're going to look, be prepared to buy because... But look a lot. This time I looked a lot more than I usually do. And there were some dolls I would have loved to have had that were more realistic. But I just, a thousand and fifteen hundred dollars is just, I can't do it. It's, it's not that I couldn't afford it. It's just that I can't bring myself to spend that much money right now. Maybe in the future I will, but I'm kind of afraid, you guys, that if I get... A top, a high-end doll, that will be the end of me. I will want nothing but high-end dolls. It's kind of like getting silicones. I don't have a silicone. I don't want to buy a silicone. But if I had a silicone, I'm afraid it might ruin me for all the other babies. So I try to just stay within what I know I can afford. Don't go around looking at silicones too much. So sorry for this being so long. If you stuck with me, I appreciate it. Have a great weekend. Keep calm and play with dolls.